Come on, let's go, Bibis. Ice, are you coming? I currently have four olive eggers. Extra, virgin, olive, and oil. I'm just kidding. They are Kalamata, Olive, Niswas, and Pichulin. Niswas and Pichulin are probably two of the most female sounding olive names out there. Don't judge me. <laughs> I have a very serious question though. What came first, the olive or the olive egger? Olive. It was. Definitely the olive with a few thousand years. But chickens are descendants of dinosaurs, so technically this point is totally up for debate. Kinda redefines chicken math. Olive eggers are an early 20th century crossbreeding of a dark brown egg layer and a blue egg layer, thus resulting in olive colored eggs which will typically end up in your nest box about four to six times per week. Their varied color patterns are beautiful, and they also tend to blend in with various environments. They are charming and affectionate. Let me love you! And while each bird may have its own unique personality, olive eggers typically are a delight to have as part of the flock. These chickens are usually said to be friendly and inquisitive, especially when it comes to their environment and the people who look after them. Although, mine still run away when I reach out to pet them. Hi, babies. What's your girl doing? Tell me about it. They're very quick to hop on my shoulder if I'm low enough to the ground, and they run up to me when I walk out to them. I guess that, that's a bit of a win, right? Olive eggers are usually not aggressive, and they get along well with other chickens. They integrate smoothly into a mixed flock and form strong bonds with their flock mates. They're usually not at the top of the pecking order, but they can hold their own and establish their place within the hierarchy. You know, normal chicken stuff. Due to their mixed heritage, their appearance can vary significantly depending on the specific parent breeds involved in their crossbreeding. However, there are some general characteristics that are often observed in olive eggers. They often have a mixture of earthy tones, such as browns, grays, and blacks in their feathers. They may also have speckling, modeling, or other unique patterns which make them extra pretty. Olive egger eggs are one of the standout features of this breed. They can range from olive green to mossy or khaki green hues. They won't all lay the exact same shade of green eggs. The specific color and intensity can vary among individual hens due to the influence of the parent breeds and individual genetic variation. In terms of egg production, olive eggers are supposed to be good layers. Mine haven't started laying yet, as you can tell by their small comb and waddle. But once these grow and turn bright red, we're getting closer. They can produce around 150 to 200 eggs per year, and this can obviously vary depending on factors such as their diet and environment. They typically start laying eggs around five to six months of age and continue to lay consistently. Olive egger chickens are said to be hardy and adaptable to a wide range of climates, including both hot and cold weather. With proper care and attention, they can live healthy and productive lives, laying colorful and abundant eggs for years to come. The average lifespan of this chicken breed is five to eight years. What you doing way back there? 